Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to review the CR White Roam 8.7, which I thought you ought to install in my previous video. So if you haven't watched it and you want to install this Roam on your OnePlus 70 device, there'll be a link in top right corner of this video as well as in the description below. So if it's your choice if you want to watch this entire video and then make a decision to install this on your device, there'll be a link in the description. If you want to install it right away, you can do it as well. So without wasting further time, let's head straight to the video. So my name is Rohit and I'm using Snaptech. So let's get started. Like you first install this room, you will have this wallpaper and you won't be having much bloatware application on your device. Like I literally had just 5 GB consumed of my 128 GB and else everything was free so it can be used for installing your additional apps and games on your device. Overall the interface of the entire OS was really smooth like I had a really good experience using it. Along with that you can also see a wallpaper and style option where you can change the overall feel and look of your device. Like you can use the wallpaper colors as well it, like it decides the accent of your wallpaper and help you to decide what color accent you want on your device now you can choose accordingly to your wallpaper or you can go with the basic colors like basic solid colors or you can choose color according to your thing or you can just use theme color as well and you can also get app grid customization where you can set how many apps you want in a single grid now you can keep it according to me if you want to keep it big you can keep it if you want to keep it small you can keep it as small so it's according to your taste like if you can see now the apps are really small so it also comes with the basic mobile dial wrap but you can't see any call recording option in that there is a little drawback on this roam as well as you see this basic contact application as well as browser messaging and you also see this kind of same similar camera which you expect from a custom roam which is very basic and you don't have much options in this to play with like you just can switch from selfie to back camera and you can just shift from camera to video but if you want to tackle this and you're going to use a custom room with a good camera you can install the gcam i've made a video on how to install that as well there will be a link on top right corner of this video you can go there and install gcam it's way better than this inbuilt camera and it comes with a wildwine l1 security level that means all your netflix and everything and all your banking apps will work and you don't have to worry about it at all so i even ran the geekbench 5 test and overall the score was pretty similar to the OnePlus 70 stock OS as you can see over here everything is perfectly fine on the single core as well as on multi core and if you go to the display and lock screen option and scroll to the bottom you can see an ambient display option where you can turn on the always on display mode which comes with every Android 12 now these days and it's pretty cool like if you can see we can see our time as well as date and everything on our screen and it's pretty much good it doesn't even take a lot of battery like i have been using it now for a day or two and it was all perfectly fine i didn't saw any bug in it neither anything was any problematic and you also see this fade when you just put it to always on display mode i can see over here and it also comes with all type of security options such as pin password pattern fingerprint as well as face unlock so it's pretty responsive like i have turned on the fingerprint i can see here if i will just put my finger on it it gets unlocked it's pretty responsive not exactly like the stock OS. it takes some time but it unlocks pretty fast like i don't have any complaint with it like it works all the time never i faced the issue that it was not unlocking or something like that even the face unlock on this roam works pretty fast like i can show you from this angle as you can see the moment i just press this power key it unlocks by itself by using my face recognition and it's really fast i didn't have any complaint with it either it worked all the time, I never faced any bug to unlock it. If you go to your setting and go to the very bottom, you can see the CROI settings where you can tweak a lot of things. Like status bar icons, you can choose which icon to show on your status bar. And if I want, I can even remove whatever icon I want. Like you can see the Wi-Fi option over here. If I disable it, I won't see Wi-Fi icon on my status bar anymore. Just like that, you can just tweak with any of it that you want. Apart from that, you can also customize the clock and you can set it to auto hide or you can set the duration like after which you want to hide the clock by itself as well as you can set n number of things over here you can also scroll down to see this very cool battery bar icon where you can enable it and decide the thickness over the notch if i completely increase it you can see on the top icon i can see my battery bar which will show me according to my battery and i can set color if it goes which color I want to display and I'll set it by clicking yellow 
and you can see now the battery tone has gone to more of yellow and green mixture and just fades according to the battery percentage like if it decreases to 10% or 5% it will be more yellow and if it goes to like 80-90% it will be more green you can just tweak with it if you want if you don't want to keep it just disable it from here you can also enable the quick pull down option and now if I pull down on my home screen the status bar will appear I don't have to go all the way up to do it so if you're using your phone one handed it will be very helpful and handy as you go to ambient display you also get option for the our very familiar edge lighting you should enable this break screen for notifications and enable the edge lighting and you can set the color you want to keep for the edge lighting thing I will go to green I can do it so whenever I will get a notification my edges will light up like we had in stock OS and you can also set the duration of the edge lighting you can set it to maximum 10 and minimum of 1 second and there is a lot of settings you can mess around and use it on your own by installing this ROM if you want to and the one favorite setting which I like is unlock higher FPS in games so if you enable this you can actually get the 90 FPS on your device on any game you play and if you click on this unlimited photo storage it can spoof our device as a pixel device and will enable us unlimited phone storage on our OnePlus 70 device itself like I can show you now I am on my photos app and if I click on my ID over here you can see it's written this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge means you can use the unlimited storage from Google itself for no extra charge so this is the perk of this ROM on your device so this is the thing many of you were asking from me so finally I have answer for it so you can install this ROM and get this unlimited storage easily without any extra cost on a OnePlus 70 device even the gaming performance on this ROM is really good like you can see oh, I'm playing Call of Duty and overall I can't see any lag or any jitter in between play for hours and hours and I can't see any lag in it even the battery is low but still it's performing really well And you can also record this gameplay right away with the internal sound you can see here record audio record internal sound and then I'll go for start and you can see that it will give me a timer of three seconds and after that you can see that I started recording like over here I can see the recording has been started so now if I will record the gameplay it will record everything in best quality possible now to stop the recording, I'll show you the overall output of our recording. So I'll go down and just click on stop recording. Once it's done, I'll click on it and I'll play on MX player just once. And over here you can see the overall quality of the recording is as same as we are playing the game in real time. So after recording and playing for a while, the phone got a little bit heated but it's still manageable. It's not that much heated but I think it's gonna be that way because even the fan is off and even the battery performance on this ROM is pretty good like it can last for a day easily if you are doing some basic stuffs like watching videos and things and like I watched a movie for almost two and a three hours and just spent almost 10% of my battery I think like you can see here overall battery usage of my device Google Play Store has been consuming 37% of my battery like with 2 hours and 15 minutes of usage YouTube is, has consumed 23% and as I told you MX Player has consumed 13% and that too I used it for a pretty while it's showing 1 hour for 50, 50 minutes I am not sure about it but I used it for a pretty while I am sure about it so yeah it lasted for quite long and it's pretty cool pretty good so this was my small review video on CR Droid 8.7 so I hope you enjoyed it and if you're new to my channel or sub to the channel we really appreciate it and if you enjoyed this video and want more tech related content like this please make sure to subscribe and please comment down below if you have any suggestion or you have any video request I'll try to make that as well so this is it for this video I'll meet you in the next one SnapTech signing out